Yeah. So today we will learn about uh, what is the difference between observable and a subject in RxJS, right? So it seems like observable and subject they are mostly same thing. It seems sometimes because subject behaves like a observable, also, and uh, there is subtle difference between subject and observable. So we'll try to explore all of the uh, details of, of that thing, right? So you know uh, what exactly observable is. Uh, so whenever we subscribe to an observable, right? So whenever you subscribe to an observable, you start getting the data. So you get the data which you use. Either you do console log or you use it with that data. Correct? This we know already. So observable is something who binds the data and then uh, observer and then push the data to the observer. So this is the observable who is subscribing, right? That we know already. So observable is pushing the data to the subscriber and subscriber uses that data. That we know already. Only thing is, uh, whenever you need a, uh, need, whenever there is a requirement where you have multiple subscribers to a particular observable, then what happens is, that's, uh, that observable, whichever it is, um, whichever task it is doing to get the data, it restarts. So whenever there is a new subscription happens, so the subscriber will get from the beginning all the data from the beginning. That happens normally because by default, all of the observables in the RxJS, they behave like that. They behave like that. So whoever will uh, get in, uh, whenever you subscribe newly to at some uh, different place, you start getting the same data from the beginning. Okay. So, so that, that behavior is called as cold behavior, cold observable. Cold observable. Exactly, right? So by default, all observables are cold observables. So that means if, if I have subscribed here, and then let's say if this observable was giving me the data from 1, 2, and 3, so this here it will print 1, 2, and 3 observable. And at the same time, if I take another subscription, if I do subscribe again, and then I get the data which I start printing. So what will happen here is, uh, in this case, let's say you are at two, and then you subscribed here. For example, this sub this this subscriber received the data one and two, and then it is about to receive the data third, third number data. And at the same time, if new subscription happens, then this is supposed to get third, right? And this is also get third. But the, the thing happens is differently. Here, he, he, this subscriber will start getting from 1, 2, and then by this time he's getting third, but he, this guy is getting 1 and 2, and then he will get the third. So it gets from the beginning. That is the natural behavior of observable. Okay, so, so this is the natural behavior where it, uh, where it lies. However, let's go to the subject now. Okay, any question before I switch to subject, and then we'll see. No, right? So this we know. So let's do the subject part of it. So as I said, subject is observable also. So just be, just think that subject is observable and we'll see what else it has. So now let's create a subject. Rather than observable, we will create a subject. So let's say you have a constant and you call it, let's say, uh, messages. And equal to new subject. <coughs> So there is a constant called as messages which has new subject and then uh, what I do is I have an interval of let's say 1000 and every uh, 1000 interval I am uh, piping this thing and uh, I get the data let's say I call it i which I push it into the messages messages dot um, next they have in the in the subject you can push the data as well so I say next and then I push the data i it is clear right so each time uh, I, every once again I am pushing uh, the data into the messages so in subject what what is the facility you have it is you can push the data also in observable that you do not control to push the data so for pushing data you use next method on the subject So what I'm doing is if if timer is ticking like this 
and then it has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. So at the same time, I have a subject where I am pushing the data. Means if, if this is a stream that I have created for this message, it's called as messages. If this is a stream or observable, the name is messages, then I am at the same moment, I am pushing the data here as well. So it is it is also receiving 1 and 2 and 3 and so on. So on. Right? So this is the messages stream which is keep receiving this data. Okay. So now from here, let's assume that this is an observable of number. And we'll talk later on how the numbers are getting pushed, what is this next is, we'll talk. Just, just ignore that part for now. Just imagine that now you receive the observable who has a uh, data coming as every second. Okay, so that we were looking initially, right? That observable dot subscribe and that was getting the data one, two, three, four, so on. So this is now messages now, and and let's start subscribing. Okay, so let me subscribe first. messages dot subscribe and I received the data which let's say let me just print it here so I can just do console dot log I can just write the delegate like this so this is number one subscriber and who is subscribing to this message and it is trying to print okay imagine that this started getting data 0 1 2 and after third second basically this is third second and uh, new subscriber joins so you receive a new subscription. So messages dot subscribe, and this one is again logging console dot log. So at third second, if this subscribe, what do you think? What should this guy receive? Imagine this is an observable that you subscribe. So any guess? It should receive from 0, 1, 2, 3 or it should get the third number. One, two. <clears throat> so 0, 1, 2 is already occurred mm -hmm. and now third is about to occur at the same time this guy is uh, subscribed. And remember that this is no more an observable, it is a new subject. type called a subject. Right? So what happens in subject is whenever new subscription happens, at that time they receive the data which will come when you subscribe after that, not whatever you, it was coming, not those data, you will not receive that. So like in observable, it was different. When you subscribe, you will start getting the data, uh, you will trigger the data producer to produce the data from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But mostly in subject, it does not happen. What happens is you will wait till the next data come. So that is the difference. So that is important difference is in subject, whenever new subscription happens at that time, that new subscriber will receive the data which will come after after the subscription so let's say after his subscription what data is about to come number which number is about to come three, three. so he will receive three. three that's the difference so now you receive three here and at the same time this guy will receive three here mm. and then so on and then he will receive four and he will also receive four so subject is a thing which is just like a and what does, what does we call this kind of situation where at the same time everybody receiving the same data, what do we call this concept? And this concept is called as multicasting. So multicasting means you are casting to multiple people the same data, same data producer, everything is shared. So it's like a shared thing, right? So, so in subject is, the, the basic difference between subject and observable is subject is multicasting and observable is not okay so multicasting means <clears throat> at the same time when data is coming all of the subscribers receives the same data correct so for example after four second if somebody is joining they will receive five they will not receive even four they will receive they will not receive anything unless we will push the next data from here correct so and this behavior is called as hot Okay, so by default everybody is cold, 
in in RACS. However, the subject has a special thing where it behaves like a hot absorbent, partial hot. It's not exactly hot, but partial hot. Partial hot means you have to trigger first. Unless you do the first subscription like this, no data is yet emitted. But hot observable definition is different. Hot observable definition is data producer keep producing data regardless you subscribe or not subscribe. For example, cinema hall, the, the movie will start and start casting regardless people are coming or not coming. That is pure hot. But this is not pure hot. Subject is a partial hot. Means partial hot means uh, uh, it's like a warm op warm observable. They call it uh, when Ben Les used to call it warm. It's not extreme hot. It's warm. Warm means uh, so. Regardless, if I'm sending next, 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 it will not change the data unless somebody has first subscribed. But after that, if someone will subscribe, they will start getting from the point they subscribe. After that, whatever data is coming. So any any question on this or any thought you want to share? So that is what I see the difference basically in observable and sub and subject. So observable when you subscribe, you start you uh, pro you basically you are forcing your uh, your data to reproduce the things right, which is not good when you are sub when you are doing HTTP GET or something and let lot of subscriptions happens in your components. Then what will happen? Every time HTTP GET will go to the server. So I am explaining this concept, but it it has deep meaning deep meaning in your uh, the 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 application that we are going to build in the AngularJS, right? Therefore, you should understand why to use subject. Because everybody can ask this, this question, why I have used subject in my user service, in my auth service, right? When I was supposed to save the user object, I used the subject, subject over there. The reason is something related to this also. Because I want all of my subscribers, which are basically components in Angular, to receive the, the data which is just came or just about to come, not that you trigger again HTTP call or something like that, right? So data producer is not being forced to produce the data from the beginning in the subject, however in observable it, it behaves differently. That is the basic difference between subject and observable. The another thing uh, on subject is, which is not in observable is, subject has a state. Means in, in the subject, it will have a list of subscribers. So if this is a subject, it has a list of subscribers. So it has subscriber one, subscriber two, now so far. And then it has a facility to push the data to all of them, and which is called as next. So in subject instance, you have a function called as next. And what do you do with next is you, whenever you call next and you pass some data, all of your inner list of subscription subscribers, they receive the same data. So basically it has a somehow some connection to observers and it pushes the data to them by calling the next function on the subject. So very powerful. So now you can control all of your subscribers. It's like a broadcasting thing. It's like messaging stuff. Like you, you just pushed one data and then you're done. It broadcasted to everyone, which is very powerful concept, which can be leveraged in many ways. And I'll explain what, what are the leveraging point of it. So the difference between observable and subject can we give in two, three line what exactly it is? The first line is, the first sentence could be, what is the difference between observable and subject? The first sentence could be, it starts getting the data when you are subscribing. Uh, the first subscription the happens, subscription then it starts getting the data. Okay. That is the first thing. Okay. And it is true for everyone, observable and subject also. So. Unless someone has subscribed first time, data will not uh, even emit. That is the first thing, right? But it is common for both. That's fine. So next thing is, in observable, when new subscriber comes, data start producing from the beginning. In subject, when new subscribers come, then data will come. Uh, sorry, then he will receive the data, whichever is coming next. Next. Okay. Next is, uh, the third number is, Subject has a list of all subscribers. It has a state. So it knows that how many subscribers are connected to me. And then in the subject, you can push the data to all of them. Okay. So if you understand this three concept, at least minimum, there are many more, but I'm not going that deep. Basically, you may uh, need to understand what is what will happen if I complete this. So we can check all of the things, right? 
but this is the minimum three things and then after you know those three things then you should understand that in subject there are three methods so number one is next number two is complete and number three is error right so i'll i'll, I'll explain you in the in the next one in the next uh, session but the, the the basic difference i wanted to just give you right so this is this suffice i think the basic difference between observable and subject okay